Okay, everything seems to be working just fine. Okay. All right. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to this stream. I'll be continuing Phantom 2040 from last time during the Super Metroid uh, stream. This is the second part, and uh, I'll be uh, finishing this one during the stream, and then uh, I'll be moving to the next game. But uh, yes, uh, last time we finished uh, in the Ghost Jungle, and our next step is the Biot Factory. But to do that, we must go to the maximum building first for Retina Scan. So we're going to get there, and meanwhile, we'll get to check if I can. If I can go uh, back inside the, the building to look for other stuff. I uh, know, not yet. The doors are locked. So we're getting up and we're going to explore a little at the same time. Hello, Splinter Rebane, nice to see it. <laughs> been a while since I've been able to, uh, to stream during a Saturday, so that's nice. <laughs> Whoops. Gonna take. Since it's been a while since the last time, maybe it's gonna take me a, back, a little bit to take, get back into the loop of uh, using the rope in this game. It seems like I'm getting back into it pretty quickly. So, as I was saying last time, I or at least I think I said last time, this is my favorite Super Nintendo game of all time. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think I remember you saying that you've been working lately, so you've had, you must have been very busy. <laughs> Alright. I want to avoid getting to the retina scan because the game, the way it works is when you when you reach a specific location, it uh, starts to cut scene and it makes, it makes you leave the, the area instantly, which I don't want yet. So, like, as I was mentioning last time, I'm shooting pretty much everywhere to see if there's secrets sometime. Although that's mostly when I'm not sure, because the walls are makes it pretty easy to figure out when uh, there's something like here. Oh, number three is luck. But yeah, this, this has a lot of in common with the Metroidvania games. Explore the stage, find the goodies. It's completely optional, but it's fun. <laughs> Finding uh, all the upgrades. Right now, I have a very powerful weapon as well. Yeah, from Monday to, to Friday, so I can show up. Oh, I see. <laughs> and if it's like uh, 40 hours or uh, specific hours, can make it pretty hard. Sometimes it makes it hard for me too. I think there's a... oh yeah. What do we have here? Uh, full life restore. <laughs> oh, here's door number three. Pretty catchy music actually. I forgot that how the music uh, is very catchy in this game. <laughs> Especially in this stage. Oh. I think there's another here, number four. There we go. This route should be almost done with this uh, area for now. I gotta come back later. Oh, that, okay, just got that big power up, that's perfect. Don't remember if I was I mentioned that during the last stream, but then um, was saying that there, there was that like uh, this this game is based on a cartoon, a, a surprisingly damn good cartoon at that. <laughs> Which makes it even more uh, amazing that this game turned out to be uh, a very good license game. One of the best example of a port. Uh, I mean, a listen, license game. Obviously, it, it rushes uh, through a lot of stuff, so a lot of the story is missing, but at least it's, it still retains a lot of uh, elements from the story. Just wanted to say interesting to music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
some of it, the, the background sounds are pretty bad when you, you return to an area, it's like uh, just random sounds that they pick, but they still interesting choices, I guess. <laughs> All right. I'll just make a second uh, and final uh, look around the place to make sure I'm not missing anything. So I can mi minimize the amount of time I have to spend here later. Nope, that's locked. That's for later. But yeah, I don't want... Just to give an idea of how much I like the... I actually like the Phantom uh, cartoon. I don't watch cartoons, so that, and yet I watched it from start to finish, so that, w that was a big uh, ex exception for once. Although the second season gets a... Uh, like, the characters and the stories are all over the place. It's clear that they, they, they were... Uh, for they were having issues with the, the studios uh, wanted and want, wanting to force them uh, to do stuff they didn't want to do. Like uh, the deep villains were literally becoming Saturday morning uh, cartoon villains, so that, w that wasn't a good sign. I think I'm done here, yeah. Let's head back over there. I think this is the floor or the next one. The next floor, alright. Oops. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they respawn too fast to make it worthwhile to, to fight them with my fist. Ah, here it is. Or is it? Okay. It kind of is uh, in a sort of... So, ah, I just had to jump into the symbol. <laughs> It was uh, easy to figure out. My retina scan is now in maximum state of ink. Now it's time to distort the Biot factory. There's... Like I mentioned also in the last stream, I believe, uh, there's some people that says the game is pretty fat, uh, hard, but I don't know myself. I, well, it's true, the first time when I was younger, when I was playing it, I was struggling using power-up items all the time. But now I have a very easy time to uh, navigate through the story, finding the, the items and the secrets. The scan worked. The door on the other side of the missile has been opened. Now we can go, otherwise this area is completely locked behind the next uh, area. Like, yep, after the missile there's nothing to do. Yeah, yep. Like uh, this wall here, there's a door that locks you uh, from entering if you if you don't do uh, what you what you have to do. But uh, yes, this game is extremely uh, 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 speed run friendly. Like there's there's a uh, if whoops, I'm gonna get back here. It's like th there's different uh, plot. Uh, uh, and ways to, to proceed with the story, and some are, of them are faster, to so it allows to make it faster to proceed beyond. I think a, a problem with Phantom is uh, is a bit extremely tanky. Although, oh, never mind, I'm taking an insane amount of damage, but still, there's a lot of power ups, so it makes it uh, rather easy to to go on. Okay, I need to go to the upper floor to pick the power ups. But the, at the end of the game, when you pick up the spirit uh, power-ups, uh, uh, Phantom is uh, ridic is truly a uh, tanky to the point that he's almost un unbeatable with the health power-ups on top of that. Ow! Doing a 100% run of this. Hmm, I wonder if it's possible because some items are locked behind uh, behind sections you can't access if you don't follow a certain uh, a plot uh, route. So I don't know if some items can be lost forever, like the like I mentioned the spirit uh, power ups. Speaking of which, oh, <laughs> all right, let's go back. This is almost a trap because it's okay. It's 
it's hard to, to stop the box from exploding in my face. Pretty sure there's something good to pick up in here. This is uh, another completely optional area. Alright. Let's go to the next floor. Ah, yep, I can hear a door open from here. Okay, what do we have here? Nice help pickup. Mission refill. I think there's something good in here. Yep. Uh, bullet uh, extension. I sure run into the enemies a little too much. Although, I guess it speeds things up. But, making. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, rope extension. Alright, here we go. Now I'll, I'll take way less damage because of this power up. And the only reason why I was able to pick it up is by destroying a computer uh, through a shortcut and uh, well, more like a secret passage in uh, the ghost jungle. So, so exploring the game uh, gives you rewards later on. All right, now what I want to do is find my way, destroy the computers to destroy the factory. Technically, also, you can just use the rope to stun them and keep uh, moving. <laughs> That's true, now they mentioned it. Some of them uh, do have that shape. <laughs> Speaking of Danmaku and To, uh, like at the update I'm work uh, for the next part, uh, it's basically done. I just need to, to do a, f a few things, uh, fixes for uh, typos. And, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, like, uh, uh, rebalance the experience drops a bit. I mean, uh, experience by levels, just to buff it a little. Uh, now we got the first mini boss. It's pointless to use the the spread shot because uh, it has a very uh, specific uh, hitbox. Uh, although it barely d did any damage to collide with it, and it's already done. Now it opens door number one, and we go further. First, it might seem intimidating to explore a big area like that, but it's not so bad. Okay, once, just gonna remove a, a pop-up from my my computer. Oh yeah, let's use the spread again. Oh yeah, I I had a lot of fun working on this one. One, there's recruitable characters and. Uh, They've been a bit hard to work on, but uh, I think it worked out pretty well. And there's a character that hasn't uh, been introduced in the game yet, that that's finally making their debut in this one, so... That's pretty fun to, to add. Oops, don't need two ropes at the same time, because yes, you can equip two ropes. Okay, I had to do it from the other side. I may found my way to the second one. I did try to uh, to mix things up, mix, mix things up by um, adding uh, obstacles, make it a bit harder to shoot at it at least. But I'm just way too powerful right now. All right, let's see if I can find the goodies. There we go. I bet I took a bit of a, without giving spoilers, went a little light-hearted with uh, some of the, with the event that's added, but uh, should uh, think it still worked out to just fine. Oh, another power up, and another another one up. So now I'm twenty. <laughs> Yesterday I also finished that Patreon page, so I suppose I'll be like, like a what, uh, enabling it when it's possible, but still. Oh, 
I got the maximum amount of first aid kits, which is 31 apparently. That's an unusual number, but yeah. Oh, no, no secrets. Of course, there's no enemies when I spam it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's uh, the good sense of making some uh, enemies to make it a bit harder as well. Like uh, those things on the walls, if they, they go out of their way to uh, make you fall if you, by uh, colliding with your rope. Oh, what do we have here? I don't remember what's in here. Let's try if I can avoid... Oh, no. Should I just ran through them since they don't explode on contact, so... Ah, there... Huh, there's less... That, that spawn this time. So it's not a set number. Alright. Probably nothing special in here. Nothing wrong opening Patreon event. Something. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think I think uh, what concerns me is that um, I really don't make, want to make sound uh, all of this like e begging because holy crap! I, I remember uh, having a problem with that, but uh, nowadays uh, I think that I think uh, that uh, the internet uh, sp spreading a uh, Patreon and all these sort of things have made it uh, shown that that it can be a very good thing as well. Which, I, which has been a lesson for me as well. Because artists, especially very good ones, they do deserve uh, work and uh, making money for their craft. I don't consider myself like some uh, super duper writer, but uh, I'm confident my skills enough to, to make good stories. So if, if anyone's willing to support that, then that's good. <laughs> especially since I'm not like begging for it. Here we go. That's the last last biot I think I need to a uh, spider biot I need to take down. And I got oh uh, yeah, there's actually uh, some hit stun in this game. If you get hit, you might end up uh, losing a bit of control. Oops. Oh yep. Yeah. Conveyor belts uh, makes it a tiny it, it's a bit harder to deal with it. And there we go. Yep, and now we've got the cutscene. Temper, temper. My, when you have a tantrum, you really messed up the place. I want to note that while you were taking a stroll through the factory, another shipment of plant life left Metropia for Sean 1. With this ring, the large spider bites, you've set off a missile, lot, missile launch. The nuclear warhead that you passed on your way in, in is head for a suburban neighborhood. Hold the layer, and I love a good barbecue. Now, it shows a timer, but not really in a rush. And it's weird that they mention like characters like Baudelaire. There, that's uh, his cat, because of course the bad guy has his cat, pet cat. Okay, are you going to load? Okay, you get worried for it. But uh, the cat doesn't appear in the game at all, so what's the point? Don't mention it. I guess... So, uh, as a nod, I suppose to cartoon. I've got a little cutscene. I don't remember if this bit is timed, so I'll be trying to go as fast as I can for it. Nice dragon music. So, destroy the missiles on the sides and keep to disarm it. Oh yeah, that's pretty darn sh simple. Taking damage, but well, do want to take no risk. And I think that's it. Yep, simple as that. Sparks, can you get that fix on my position? Yes, the computer's picking up your homing beacon. I need you to fly the soft jet to my location immediately. I'm there. There. 
get on this jet. Oh, chapter 5, Political Environment. Don't remember what's next, we'll see, I guess. Hmm. Wake up, Metropia, first human born in space, terrorist of the free orbital movement. Sean 1. Mr. 1, need fruit to emerge that you're involved with Maximum Inc. My talents were used to create a computer chip that will help protocol, uh, no, protect the political submit in the Hertz environment. Sorry, Sean, but I don't buy that for a nanosecond. What would you be interested in saving the Earth? Planet Hertz is dead. I'm just trying to help you gravity slaves. What anyone believes is not my concern. End of transmission. In the other news, the political submit is now meeting in a secret location somewhere in Metropia. The world's great political leaders are here to discuss if the orbitals should become a free nation. Is it any coincidence that the submit is meeting on the same day that Sean One starts doing good deeds? I'll tell you what you think after this burst. Yeah, those first. <laughs> totally. Very stretch faces and all that sort of stuff. It's just in. A Biot's factory blown to na nanobits and the po police wants to push into Phantom. Should anyone care? I'll let you know. The battleship named Prometheus is about to destroy the submit. If you must play hero, Alex Sapien of the humans for humans knows where the submit is meeting. All I request is that you tell me the information about that. Uh, so I can tell to Alex to give the information to you. I believe this African totem belongs to you. Tell me where you found the totem and why you need the submit's location. In time, take this ID card to the runes. You'll find a valve that lowered the sewer sludge levels. Place the totem in the wall to, to lead to Sapien. Now we get the overly overblown password and we're back into action. Uh, you you know, since I'm using emulator, I'm going to save just in case, like, eh, like I had the emulator crash in the past, so I don't want to take any risk, so I'll just save for that. Now we want to go back to the rooms, like I did earlier in the game. Music is even better here, not if I don't, if I remember correctly. But yeah, each chapter is uh, change the music, so it never gets dull to hear the same. You don't uh, come back to an area and hear the same music if uh, uh, enemies just drop exactly what I needed. Ouch. Is it going to drop a skull? Nope, more power up for bullets. Oh, yep. <laughs> Don't want the, this to get blown and losing like a hour through a progress. Sheesh. Speaking of that, I'm lucky that uh, nothing wrong went happened during the Super Metroid uh, stream. Losing all that progress f would have been pretty uh, catastrophic. <laughs> and even then, while I was uh, recording the final bus of the inter RPG, uh, it just. Uh, an, an, an animation was uh, missing, so uh, all the progress just went down to the toilet. Alright, let's just go back to it. That's the road to get the invisible power up earlier, but now you can open this, the sewers and proceed. Actually, let's go back. Use the help power up and pick this one up. Although there's another one on the other side, but I suppose I can come back and pick it up. So yes, the sludge hurts like hell, so let's... No, okay, never mind, it doesn't. I guess the spirit power-up uh, just uh, reduced the damage to a negligible uh, amount. Still doesn't mean I want to collide with it. But they still still get, get getting in contact with it, of course. Let's take this slowly. Got the computer one taken care of. Oh, no, no luck. I almost missed, uh, managed to avoid it, but got a bit sloppy here. Ow. 
grenades in the face. Oh, what do we have up here? Heard a door open. Okay, I'm backtracking. It's only been 26 minutes. Uh, that's good. I wish that there was a play time uh, at the end of the game, like in Metroid, to tell me how much it took me to complete. Because I'm interested in knowing uh, how fast I've been. One up, power ups. That's great. But I'm now like at 22 uh, one ups. The, the game is basically uh, decided. Unless I somehow screwed up at, against the final bus, but. Even then, the chances of having game over at this point is basically negligible. Now let's see how fast this guy dies. Uh, is defeated. Get close to him and just bam. Okay, that was a joke. <laughs> Those dudes are like, hey, there was a dude flying here. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> The, cute, the, the game would have ki killed us. What can I do for you? Someone is going to destroy the political submit and I want to destroy... Uh, no, I want to stop it. No, I don't want to destroy it. Do you know where it's being held? It's taking place on the upper floors of the Wildlife Memorial. Mr. Kyer is online. If you want to tell him the location of the submit, go to him. And you want if you want the best ending, you have to go to him. If Submits at the Wildlife Memorial. Very good, Phantom. I'll make sure the security system surrounding the triads and Maximum are shut off. Shut off. Maximum Corp Inc. dispose of the triads. All is not as it seems, eh, Phantom? And there we go. Because, yes, the triad has to be dealt with, with as soon as possible to get the, the good ending. Now we go to the Wildlife Memorial here. Here we go. This is another pretty big area, with lots of uh, goodies uh, laying around. And, and uh, visiting the ghost jungle uh, as, as well, uh, into, and finding the secrets that also leads to a lot of uh, goodies. Let's avoid the mines, they don't respawn if I'm not mistaken, so might as well take care of them as soon as I can. Oh, okay. Managed to dodge this uh, this explosion. I thought I thought I flew right into it. <laughs> I believe there's a door that blocks the, the fourth computer uh, earlier. Ow! Oh yeah, my rope is enormous right now. It goes all this one side of the screen to the other. Still have this obsession with rushing into the, the bullets. Especially big ones that are powerful, ouch. Oh, yep, the third door is open now. I don't believe it is uh, without visiting the jungle, so power ups, lots of them. Right now my life bar and, and uh, ammunition one is pretty enormous. Oh, computer 5. And computer 1. I know there's a floor that gets destroyed here, yep. And there's computer zero. We're on a roll. <laughs> Alright, there's a one up here. As if I didn't have any enough. Another secret. I believe that leads to a door with the other oh yep. Life. And another rope extension. I wonder if it's capped by now or if I can get. They just keep coming at you and falling off. Yeah, the AI isn't too bright in this game. They just go forward and uh, until your bullets. Although, the, if there's uh, one thing that they do good in this game is they they, they shoot at a ridiculous f uh, rate. Like uh, as soon as they shoot, they see you, they shoot you. So if you run towards them, uh, you're not uh, dodging those guys. Two one-ups? Sheesh. 
and that I'm almost done with this the area. That's pretty crazy. I got that bullet expansion again. Doesn't make them stronger. That that's uh, the uh, the gun uh, power up that uh, that does that. But uh, now that my bullets are have a bit bigger hitbox. There's something here. Yep, another. One. Damn. Let's just spam their rope in the hope that it stops them. Yep, it seems to work faster than their ability to shoot. So there's a way to deal with that at least. Haha. <laughs> I think there's a mid bus in here. Oh yeah. Over the big T-Rex. The climatic battle on the T-Rex. <laughs> Live from the Wildlife Memorial, the Phantom and Terrorists try to destroy the, the political submit. Why isn't the orbitals our future? We can't ignore the technology that will save us. By killing anyone you won't solve anything. You're wrong people. You're wrong. People listen to violence. For this reason, the political submit must be stopped. And this guy is just as pathetic. He has a bit more HP, but still, it's not even close. We must all flee at once. These terrorists are not the only ones who want to stop the submit. Maximum the orbitals want you dead. This building is targeted by a battleship. And this this bit is probably the hardest in the game. Which is pretty interesting that the game actually gets a bit challenging, but because all the, the power-ups I have, it's basically impossible to lose. Uh, although it's possible to start losing a crap ton of lives here. The battleship named Prometheus is at the end of this convoy of ships. I must get inside somehow and stop it from destroying the wildlife memorial. Oh, you better not re I hate when games does that, like they reset the music. And it does apply to the RPG I'm working on, so which is why I'm glad that I was finally able to uh, find a solution and make music play when I wanted to play, instead of uh, interrupting all the time. I'll probably change some uh, of the music in area so uh, encounters uh, that doesn't uh, interfere with the map music, if it fits. Alright, let's be careful that to... Oh, for a moment I thought I just got into a, a pit. <laughs> It's still weird that they're hanging like that, and uh, they're just there to, to fall. If I enter through the huge gun barrel of the Prometheus, maybe I can find and destroy its power source. Oh, yep. <laughs> Alright, I just spammed the, the rope here. And like in many games, there's a big laser at the end of the place, so get up. Make sure that uh, you're not in, in a, like it's a range, well, you have to be uh, crouching to be, avoid uh, getting hit in the face. There we go, big laser. Come on, Phantom, let's... Okay, yeah, let's just... Don't think I take much damage, though. Actually, let's just check for that. I, it's not going to kill me. Oh, it's, it's pathetic. I can't believe how weak it was. Someday I want to. I should make a, a run of this game without the spirit power-ups and all the, the, this stuff. But still, those the biots do more damage than the the cannon. Ow! That just spam shut on it and this. Oop. Didn't even have time to shoot again. Uh, 
Like, there's a way, for, fortunately, to make the game hard, harder, although it's primarily uh, self-imposed, but uh, it's not uh, completely uh, over overdone. Uh, you don't need to go too much out of your way to make it uh, yeah, harder. Too late. The submit will be destroyed. Ripik and her husband will rule the city. Maxwell Sr. has been dead for years. His mind lives. By using the Panther's unique blood, she can transfer brainwaves. All she needs is a body. The Panther? How did you get the, the Panther? Let's just say I found it. Where's, where's she going to get a body for the transfusion? That's where you fit into the plan. Oops, come on, get up there. And he's even more pathetic. Although the guys down there to actually do damage, but he's already defeated. Just just uh, hold uh, to rope on the ceiling at at the other side and uh, the door doesn't close. Of course, why is the wildlife memorial still standing? And where's the phantom's body? Maxwell, brainwaves, and the panther are ready and I need a body. Crash. Ow. Is there life? Yep, here it is. Still, still comes up pretty silly when you defeat the, these guys. Every time they, they make like a eat. I don't know, it sounds like a big yeah, like they're saying yeah when you're defeating them, so it sounds a bit goofy. You again. Not even you can crush my spirit graph. We'll see about that. Actually, I did a pretty good uh, voice and uh, impression of, of uh, Graphic. He has a voice very uh, similar to that. Oh, there's the word held and just cheap shot it with the with the wave gun, which is an extension of the of the the the, the fist. Oh yeah, it's a pretty damn weird, weird organic thing. I have no idea what's what was the idea behind that. It as it's not in the cartoon at, at in the situs. Although that's probably only because uh, it was a cartoon and they couldn't show something like that freaking weird and uh, gory. Although there's another enemy in the uh, bus enemy that uh, that's like that. Earlier in a game, that, that like a huge grotesque uh, skull that pulsates, meddling fool. Since you destroyed my connection to the ship, it's not out of control, and soon it will become our tomb. But if I can help it, I recycle. Luck and fine. Got their escape, and this is one of the inferior bits of the, the SNES port uh, compared to the Genesis port. There's supposed to be a like uh, you see Graft and uh, Phantom escaping and you have a cutscene that follows with them, but here it just skips to something else. Like literally it skips the password instead. But uh, in the Genesis version, uh, uh, what happens is that uh, Graft, it shows that uh, uh, like in the cartoon, Graft is actually a, a good guy deep down. Like uh, he says, uh, he gives you the information you need to enter Maximum Inc. And uh, into this version, it shows nothing. But yeah, Graf actually has a pretty big uh, backstory into into cartoon. Like uh, he's that sort of guy that uh, that uh, that that uh, is owned, quote unquote, by Maximum Inc. So they just basically uh, put a bunch of mechanics on him. So like the, the guy just wants to die, but they won't let him. Or at least have his freedom. But that too, they just won't do it. Alright, let's see if I can go down there this time. Yep, yeah, perfect. I'm I'm literally at the, the climax of the game now. Just uh, two more uh, chapters, including... And that th it includes this one. Let's see if I can get that weapon power up. There's a, something also a bit disappointing in the SNES version is that 
I, now my bullet is at its maximum size with the for a little device at the lower right, but the uh, Intagenesis version, uh, it allow your bullet eventually gets a star shape like the enemies have, but no, you don't get that here. And here we go, damage twice, as high as before. The funny thing is, if I wasn't picking power up. I think it might be accurate to say that uh, I would uh, already finish the game because it's that sh it's short. Like it's not a it's maybe a bit sh longer than a S Super Metroid if uh, you speed run it, but uh, it's still an extremely short game. So I have a it's still my favorite because I, I find it fun to uh, explore, find the objects, and uh, it's non-linear. Non Actually, it's semi-linear, but uh, the endings, the game has like 20 different endings, depending on your actions. It's like a Fallout uh, games, like a, if you do a certain uh, thing, it's going to affect the, the story in that way. I, let's, let's see if I can use the just jump kick my way through this sequence. Whoops. I'm not doing that well at all. Oh, I was pressing the, the rope instead of the kick, so I just end up killing myself. Let's try this again. There we go, a bit better. Basically here you just survive until you reach the floor. The only issue is there's no indication of where you are. Oh, and that's so fast. Don't think you need to defeat a destroy a specific amount to, to proceed. Oh no. There's red ones that are start starting to spawn to have even more health. And here we go, made it. Now we're in a triads, uh, triads uh, storage area. And enemies are. Uh, mini bosses uh, gets even more pathetic here. I think that they didn't. Uh, like balance the third health and a damage and uh ability to, to uh, do damage enough to make it uh, like a particularly necessary bit to add in the game. <laughs> Although it's more of story wise, they they don't exist in the, the cartoon, uh, the triad. Actually there's well there's a ch episode that has characters called the triad, but they're nowhere they're nothing like that. In this game, there's just a uh, super uh, mutated uh, human uh, living weapons, and that's about it. There we go. That was difficult, right? And at, although at least now you get to fight them all at the same time, although that's not going to help them. They do have a super uh, attack, but. Looks like I didn't even give them the time to do it. Basically, they, they get uh, all at the middle of the screen and they start spinning and do, doing a, a circle attack. But uh, I guess I didn't uh, give them the time. Here, this this ladder here, it's a trap because if you go down there, you get a bad ending. Like uh, you have to go uh, deal with Sean One and there is the orbital station, and if you don't do that, well, he, he's actually he's actually going to be able to shoot his cannon, and you get a bad ending. And the worst ending, yeah, the bad guys actually wins, they, they take over the world, so... <laughs> Gotta be careful uh, of your actions uh, as you proceed in a game. And if there's something the game does better than the cartoon, is uh, give you a, a more sat satisfying ending. Like, you, you really defeat uh, the bad guys. 
well, in the cartoon it was extremely rushed because the the show has been cancelled. But at least they, they actually finished the show, like in like many shows that never uh, bothered to uh, to finish because they weren't ready to deal with it. All right, I forgot to destroy the computer up there. Yep, zero. <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> That's introduction for the mini boss version. Oh, yeah. Like the music changes and everything, and nope. Just, just got lost, got, uh, ladies. <laughs> although it's a bit disappointing that. Although there is uh, at least a good fight uh, towards the end of the game, so there's at least that. Now we got five of them, those power-ups, but uh, having five is useless. I just did it for uh, for fun. Ouch! Did want to dodge the flames, but no. Maximum ink program the ship to surprise it. Attack Sean One's orbital platform with the triads. I arrive unexpected as well. Here there's a huge secret, we'll go pick it up. Like a, like here it, it shows nothing but a, you just heard an explosion, there was a computer hidden behind. And it opens the one here and again you hear an explosion which means that another door has opened and it leads to the biggest uh, re uh, I was going to say because secret, but no. Well, although it has a, a ridiculous reward uh, if you, you manage to find it. Nope, not here yet. Those homing bullets actually do a good amount of damage. I think that's a problem with the game. The, the enemies are stronger than the bosses. At least most of the time. But uh, that, that homing uh, is pretty crazy. Like here, look at all, all those lives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, I believe. So yeah, and think that Genesis version has even more lives, so it's even more ridiculous. Oops. Although again, the game's credit when I was a kid. By that time, I was very low in lives. Like, like I, I had to, to to play very carefully. And I didn't have the spirit power up, so I was taking an insane amount of damage by this point. Although this this part of the game is the worst part of the if there's a one problem this game has, it is the one, and I'll show that because, like I was saying, this game has multiple endings, and if you want to, to have the best ending. You have to destroy something here, and it's extremely hard to, find, to figure out what you're supposed to do. To the point, and the way it presents this, it makes it more like a, it's a sequel hook. But no, it's not a sequel hook because because uh, you have to uh, to do something that that help make the ending uh, different. So now we are on a big platform. It leads to a to a mini ship you can't enter, and like. You press down and B to, which allows you to go under the platform, but it nothing happens. But you go a bit further, and look at that. You can go down all of a sudden. So first of all, let's show you one of the most most ridiculous secrets in the game. Whoops! Stop swinging, dude. All right, we jump into the pit, and there's a big, huge uh, light spirit uh, uh, power up that reduces your that uh, makes the damage you take to one quarter, so you're even more invincible now. It just requires you to sacrifice a life. Now you swing over the, the pit. And, like, you're looking for that. Like, uh, look, so basically, you want to find a secret, but you don't know where it is, but. There is a secret right here that you never—that is extremely not easy to find, and 
There you go, you have a cutscene. Sean One's main computer. If I destroy it, it won't be able to make another weapon like the one of the Prometheus. And there, you just uh, break that thing. Sean One's as good as finished. If you don't destroy it later, it later is going to to to, uh, to to laugh saying that the that the that the since the Phantom didn't destroy the computer, you'll be able to build another one. All right, let's go up there, and now we can go take care of Sean One for real. Majority of uh, players. Uh, as far as I understood, I uh, didn't know about the computer, uh, or uh, just couldn't find it, and I can't, I can't blame them, it's so uh, cryptic, I don't know how to find it. Like, uh, when I was younger, I was able to find it, but uh, later on, I just couldn't f uh, remember, so I thought it was just uh, my childhood uh, memories uh, tri playing a trick on me. Since the political submit would not grant me my wish of a free na orbital nation, you'll be witness as I turn your precious world into interstellar, interstellar crumbs. Alright, let's... He's defeated? Oh yeah. It was difficult, right? An analytical, prepare the Damocles cannon for firing. That's the name of the, the cannon. But for some reason, they decided to only mention it now. An analytical is just like a, like a, making the, the program work uh, by sound, uh, by voice. Good of you to join me. Such a satisfying feeling when thousands of her dwellers cry out in terror all at once. What are you, Kifka? That's the sort of stuff he would say. So now we've got the actual bit that's timed. If you don't stop it, uh, the ship, the, the the cannon will actually be able to fire, and you're going to get a less of a good ending. So you gotta destroy these these uh, bios or the symbols, and it's over. In the Genesis version, if you keep spamming at the at the spread, it's actually going to fire. S s uh, it won't allow the bullet to spread and uh, you won't be able to stop it and uh, you have like extremely little amount of time to make it so it's extremely hard to in, like this version of uh, stopping the cannon. You know what you've done? Punch. I've saved the world. Grin, I destroyed Sean One's laser cannon. Orbital platform is going to blow. Subject spin flown to your location as requested. Sparks standing by you to, uh, to board. Where's Sean One? Phantom, ready to pick uh, you up outside of Ducking Bay 94. I'll be there shortly. Sean One's disappeared. I found a tube, tr t a tube train tunnel on the east side of the city that leads into Maximum's core, uh, Maximum's inner core. I bet Maxwell's brain waves and the panther are kept somewhere inside that inner core. I'll stop Rebecca and save the panther. Chapter 7 Maximum Overdrive. An orbital platform blew up in space today, raining debris. And upon the city. No word, of, no word on the casualties, but hundreds of orbitals are, not, are homeless. An investigation is underway. If I don't hear it, you don't hear it. And like that parasol is going to help the guy. Phantom was seen creeping to maximum. Is in the league with Ma Rebecca Madison? Oh, I be beat Wagon 90. Oh yeah, it's a wonderful game. <laughs> Never thought I'd see someone 
yeah, I imagine that's not a game that gets streamed a lot, but I love this game. It's my favorite Super Nintendo game of all time, so... <laughs> you have that umbrella. <laughs> Oh, okay, for a moment I thought it wasn't going to process properly. We're still going to save just in case to prevent the game, in case the game crashes for some reason. And now we're at the climax, the final battle, the tube train station. You hear the music and the... Oh, oh yeah, some people love it. Personally, I like the Super Nintendo version way more, which is the reason why I'm playing it. The Genesis version is better for cutscenes because it has one or two cutscenes more than this one. And I don't know if you've heard about the, our cartoon yourself being, being Wagon 90. It's actually a surprisingly good cartoon. Wake up, Metropia. The Phantom is now attacking a tube train on the Upper East Side. I take you there live. This time the purple, purple nut has really cracked his shell. This version of this doesn't only sound worse, it just sounds awful. Oh, oh yeah, and a big problem is that in the Genesis version also is that the, the backgrounds are black instead of showing actual stuff, so it looks very bland. It's unfortunate, really, because the Genesis version has some good stuff in it, but it's brought down by a... Uh, oh, pfft. okay. Like, oh my goodness, I'm playing like a dweeb right now. If you rush too much, uh, you just kill yourself in this stage. I, I, well, when I say... Yeah, the Phantom kills himself. <laughs> now we get the enemy that has the most life. The Genesis version, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Like, uh, it's way too long to kill. And this is one of the most frustrating enemies in the game, because... If you're like me and you want to finish the game on a... a fist-only uh, uh, run, this enemy is... I don't think this enemy can be beaten with a fist and a kick. Usually one version of game's music may sound better than the other, but the version that sounds worse. Yeah, it's true that, uh, that a lot of games uh, have uh, that that thing that they distance them from each other. One version will always have better music. It's, although it, I'd say it's less, uh, uh, I'll just say it. It's, it happens less uh, these days uh, on a like PlayStation and all these consoles, the music uh, isn't, isn't as affected as it is, but back then the, the music was a big deal between games. Why do you torture yourself? Rebecca owns me. She can destroy me with a touch of a button. I must obey. And I must destroy her. Then you will have to, then you will have to go through me. And root anything so it was really at I was making a... okay, yep, yeah, of this game alone. I didn't root anything, so it was really a task of speedrun. It was cool. More like a cool tool assist. We we'll fight all boss by kicking all of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine that... I never tried the... I don't know how, how the tool assist runs work. So if it's easy or, or hard as hell to work on. It's pretty interesting. Like, I find it interesting uh, when players do good, but I like a good uh, tool assist run, especially if it allows to do some pretty insane stuff. Like, um, what is it called? Uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, there, the like, uh, there's some super glitched uh, uh, videos you can see uh, where the game is completely uh, goes insane because people are allowed to manipulate it easily. And poor Graph was a complete pushover. Finish it, put me out of my misery. Will not kill you, Raft. Set me free, coward. We're just using this Nitz movie maker. It would... Oh, interesting. So it can do stuff like that. I wasn't aware of that. Cool. Which actual that's being made and it's more involved in it. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> Never sent Tin Can to do a genius job. And now we fight an enemy we already defeated, but uh, with the uh, uh, environment that's a bit more harder to deal with. So we're just going to tank it. Oh my goodness. I remember that the, the, the gun power up was over uh, overpowered, but this is beyond ridiculous. <laughs> 
I watch over a bit. Oh. Oops. I jumped, so now we get it hard to, to hit it. Oops. Watch the tools that have been made on stream. I saw all the, these completed thing. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, that was for what you curtain. It is kind of Batman esque, although. Uh, yep, yeah, Batman esque is a very accurate way to say it because the cartoon got very dark at times. And it took a very serious themes at the same, despite the fact that it's a cartoon. Sheesh, those bullets. I do a lot of damage, but those bullets uh, are very expensive. Shoot, shoot uh, Maxwell Jr. Where's your mother? Talking to father about uh, raising my al al allowance. Sorry, <laughs> your father is dead. Perhaps, but the transfusion with the Panther has already begun. Soon we'll be the f model family again. I guess Batman didn't take place in the future. Oh, yep, I guess there's that. That's the, there's that little difference, I guess. <laughs> Let's pick up whatever I can. Oh, close. And this is the, the big part in the game that, uh, that changes depending on your actions. Like uh, earlier, I saved uh, the professor, professor Archer. And uh, but uh, if you, you don't save him earlier, you'll find him here. And uh, if you actually take uh, the spaceport to get here, which oh I skipped the spaceport, damn it! Now that I think of it, but if you uh, you enter the orbital station through a uh, uh, through a uh, through the spaceport, you'll fi you'll have a bus fight here, and uh, you'll you'll fight the triad, and you're going to get the bad. To, actually, you'll get the worst ending possibly. <laughs> I never set the rope to X because you can use A, but oh yeah, I think it's so because I'm so used to it that I'm, uh, although I'm not even using it with A. Yep, I'm just too used to it with X. <laughs> I would enter and free it from its uh, this alias trap. That animal's blood was going to bring my husband back into my arms. The ring of terror in Metropia is over. Not yet. Even though the transfusion was not enough to bring Maxwell back in human form, he's not dead. Protect me, my love. Protect me. And and uh, also a difference with the cartoon: Maxwell is not evil in the slightest. In the cartoon, he's actually a good guy. So that's a that's a big difference. Maxwell is actually a as a human form in the cartoon. Like it doesn't look like a a, a, a night a cyber nightmare of skull that wants to to take over the world. <laughs> if there's some a good thing about this fight in the Genesis version, it's that Genesis version is less forgiving. Like if you collide with those arms, uh, it's an instant kill. Like here, it barely does me any damage. Oh yeah, the rope is so perfect in this game. Like uh, both in controls and a. Uh, and a uh, utility. It's very fun to use. A lot of games screws up uh, ropes uh, controls, but this one is flawless. It's very easy to master, and it, it's fun. It's just fun uh, swinging all around the place. There we go. When I played this game as a kid, I used the password to skip to the end, but I could never beat the final bus. Actually, the, the Genesis version is a... Uh, but I played the inter... It's rough, you know, yep. The Genesis version is actually a... Like a... Deceptively easy, surprisingly, because it... Like, I agree at first, I thought it was near unbeatable, but the thing is, if you pick the missiles, the homing missiles during the fight, and you go to the left or right side and jump to the platform and you spam missiles, it's going to aim on the bus. So all you have to do is jump from one platform to another above you, and and you won the, the fight. 
But yeah, if you die one, just once, the, the boss fight uh, just uh, restarts and you, you have to uh, redo all the damage. So in that regard, it's very unforgiving. If this vision, if you die, fall and die. Oh, okay, for some reason I thought I didn't save <laughs> uh, uh, press start on the head section. It's the Genesis version only, actually. And there's no cutscene as well. In the Genesis version, it shows uh, Phantom wondering if Fa Max Maxwell is defeated. But uh, it just skips to the final phase. And instead of Sludge Rising, you get Flat Fire Raising. And if you die, you, like I uh, mentioned, uh, it doesn't reset the fight. And the thing I discovered is that the... The boomerang is the is uh, possibly the best weapon for this fight, surprisingly, because it does a, it shoots a lot, it does a lot of damage, and it makes it easy to stick up to his head as well. Usually, I, I die a crap ton of times, so I'll try to, to die the least amount of time I can this time to make up for all the scrubs I've ma been making during the run. The, the boomerangs glitch though because they disappear and they respawn eventually. Myself, I'm a oh Quebec, uh, Canada, Quebec. Yeah, that I, I guess the accent that makes it uh, very obvious that uh, there's something with my voice. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, almost fell, but nope, not this time. Huh, I didn't even die a single time. That's one of the best run I had against the final boss. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> now we got our ending. It, if there's another disappointing thing with the final boss in, in the SNES version, when you do enough damage, it skips to the ending right away. The Genesis version, you see Maxwell uh, Senior uh, explode, so you get to see the final boss's uh, defeat, but here it just skip. Live in Photonic, 10 forcers arrested Rebecca Madison and her son in connection with the attack on the political submit. After her arrest, uh, Rebecca was declared insane and put into an institution. Maxwell Jr. was sentenced to life, in prison, uh, life imprisonment. No one knows the whereabouts of Graf and the Panther uh, and Phantom, but they believe they're involved. Actually, in the cartoon, just uh, for a trivia sake, it's the opposite. Uh, uh, Rebecca is thrown in a prison and uh, Maxwell is the one sent uh, to uh, the asylum. Be because in the cartoon, it's clear that he has uh, mental problems. Members of the political submit made the law new laws protecting endangered animals after the Black Panther almost became extinct. They also decided to stop all production of combat biots and make them illegal. Biot factories are now banned from Metropia. You're finally free, Graf. Graf survives in the cartoon, but the, the cartoon was very rushed. So it makes sense that he actually finally dies in the, the cartoon. Uh, I mean the game. And Sean Wen has been in the, is now on the run. And now we got our credits. So, as always, fun to run, uh, very fun to get through. I think I've went through this game at least 20 times by now, and it never gets boring for me. Should make a sequel to this game where you go after Sean Wen. Oh, they could easily do a sequel, yep. I don't know about... No, I was going to say, there's the, the Game Gear version of the game that's completely different, but it has no relation to, this, to the, those games. There's another cutscene, so I guess we'll let the, the staff run. And it's uh, satisfying to be able to, to catch uh, the story Sean one's uh, computer to get the, the golden ending. Otherwise, you just hear to taunt uh, you to saying that it'll just reveal the, the, the space cannon. Thanks. 
We're getting near the end, I think. It falls at Earth Entertainment. Uh, I just remember there's a... We'll just let the final cutscene uh, run. The Phantom was seen t today taking candy from babies and pushing old women into the street. This goof has lost all of his crews and for one... POW! The end. Yeah, in the cartoon as well, this guy this guy is basically Jonas, uh, J. Jonas Jameson from Spider-Man cartoons. And uh, although eventually you realize that the Phantom is not a insane uh, lunatic, I just don't have much experience with NES games, but it was really fun to watch. But I'm glad you enjoyed. And that's it for the this run. I've checked out for uh, to Puppet Dance performance. If I could uh, record it, I can. I'll just need to restart my computer to switch to Japanese locals. So what is going to happen? I'll and to stream, restart the computer, and I'll be back in a few minutes. So thank you for uh, watching, and I, I hope to stick to, uh, for to watch uh, basically what is uh, to home on. <laughs> See you soon.